Tonight, a Clearwater family is mourning and moving for action as they call for more safety measures along a busy local road. This comes after a 15 year old boy, Ethan Weiser, was hit and killed on that road Friday morning while walking to his school bus stop. Since Ethan's death, his uncle Matt has vowed to bring about change, and he's starting by speaking at local government meetings. Tonight, he spoke before the Clearwater City Commission and called for more lighting and crosswalks on Bel Air Road, where Ethan died. He also called for the commission to partner with the Pinellas County School District to update their policies on school bus stop placement. Shortly after that meeting, Crossman and more, uh, more than 100 people gathered at that intersection on Bel Air Road and South Haven Drive, where Ethan died they gathered for a candlelight vigil. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline was there for the emotional event. Through song, candles and tears, 15 year old Ethan Weiser was remembered Thursday. He was a good friend. Aiden Kaminsky says Ethan was one of his first friends that he met after transferring to Largo High School more than a year ago. And Kaminsky says he'll miss the simple things like a game of cards after class. Near the end of every choir, uh, Ethan, me, and a couple other buddies would break out Uno. Weiser died on August 26th after being hit by a car while crossing Bel Air Road in Clearwater to get to his school bus stop. FHP says the driver didn't see Ethan because it was too dark. Weiser's uncle, Matt Crosman, tells ABC Action News he'll miss what could have been. What impact he could have had. I mean, the impact at 15, like what impact would he have when he's 20 and 30? And in the wake of that loss, Crowsman tells ABC Action News he'd like Ethan's legacy to lead to safety along the road for others. How can we make it reflective? How can we illuminate it? How can we create a zone or create a path to let drivers know um, that there's somebody or something in the road, right? In Clearwater, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.